The drought situation in Turukana County is getting dire by day. Many families have been left with no food to feed their malnourished children. The wrath of the Mother Nature is not only affecting human beings, but also their dying livestock. The, uh, to curb the situation, the Kenya Red Cross Society and the USAID have launched a cash transfer project worth 200 million in the counties of Turukana, Baringo and West Pokot that will address the emergency food and nutrition targeting 11,000 households. Emmanuel Terer is just from Turukana and, uh, and has compiled the following report. Early in the morning, we began our journey to Turukana County. Our destination is Lodwe Town. The situation on ground is dire, extremely hot, extremely dry. Food accessibility is tough. The animals have died. For a community that mostly depends on livestock keeping as a way of living, drought means double tragedy. One, to them, and secondly, to their livestock. The situation here is, is dire. There is lack of water, there is lack of food, there is lack of pasture, and also we are seeing um, children uh, exhibiting signs of malnutrition. We are seeing animals um, degrading. Red Cross with United States Agency for International Development, USAID, have made an intervention to curb the situation through a cash transfer project worth 200 million Kenyan shillings, targeting 11,082 households with an approximation of 66,492 persons in Turkana, West Pokot and Baringo counties. Why we are doing this uh, cash transfer program is because, as you are all aware, Trukana is one of the most affected counties by the drought. And therefore, together in partnership, we have decided to come together to support these families and cushion them from the adverse effects of the drought. This is particularly important during times of need, like the current drought, which has left approximately 2.1 million Kenyans in need of emergency food assistance. USAID recognizes President Kenyatta's decision to declare the current drought a national disaster. A joyous and blissful atmosphere is filled with hope of its own kind. Women dance their hearts out, dressed in cultural Turkana regalia, as they become part of the newly launched cash transfer program. The Deputy Secretary General of Kenya Red Cross, Annette Misabani, is trying to keep up with the rhythm. Pesa ni muhimu zaidi kuliko vya kula maana zinasaidia kwa njia nyingi iwapo mtoto ataugua nitakuwa na uwezo wa kumpeleka hospitalini. Nimekuwa nikitegemea sana mifugo wangu ila wavamizi wameiba mifugo wote na nimebaki bila kiangazi nacho kinatutesa mno. In Turkana, there are 5,323 households containing 31,940 people. Baringo, there are 3,036 households with 18,217 persons. And West Pokot, there are 2,723 households containing 16,335 people. In particular, today in Turkana, we will be reaching uh, 31,940 persons who translates to about 5,323 households. Under this program, each household will receive about 5,677 uh, Kenya shillings for, per month for a total of three months. And this uh, 5,067 shillings amounts to about 50% of the minimum food basket. 42 kilometers from Lodwa town lies the village called Kapua on the shores of Lake Turkana which is home to the minority Ilimanyang community who are famous for living close to water bodies and are believed to have no skin pores. This goat is trying to search for any green matter, but sadly there is none. Inside is only dry soil. Men here sit in groups with hopes of a better tomorrow. I happen to have joined them and I'm lucky to be shown a unique knife. Okay. <laughs> A knife that has not been put to use ever since the drought set in. With distress visible on their faces, these women sit here in groups under the scorching sun, 
unless someone comes to their aid. They have no idea of what will be served to their children as the next meal. Red Cross is setting foot here. Their target is to distribute food stuff to over 200 people who are worst hit by drought. In this location of Kapua, we are reaching about uh, slightly over 3,000 people. The total population here that is in need is about 17,000. With the support that we are providing, we are providing maize, we are providing beans, we are providing uh, oil and rice and salt. This is a small ration just to hold the family and uh, this will go for about two weeks. Even as this man's face is filled with laughter, his heart might be beating with fear because of the food security situation in Kenya's arid and semi-arid Asal counties, which has continued to worsen due to the poor performance of October, November, December 2020 short rains and the March, April, May 2021 long rains. Emmanuel Terrer, Switch TV.